I like touching stuff. Like um, if I go on a hike, I have to touch things as I go by, like moss or um, really smooth bark, like on a cherry tree or really rough bark um, or leaves that look fuzzy um, or stone that is damp. Um, and uh, when I go through doorways, I touch the door frame at work. When I round a certain corner, I always touch the wall, I think, in the same place. I don't know if that's about sense of touch or or what that is. I think it's just reassuring. Um, I like to eat with my hands and, and touch my food with my fingers. Uh, I, when I'm with someone I like, uh, I'm, I touch their, I like to touch their skin, um, or hair even, uh, my hands sort of wander. Um, <laughs> I want to touch paintings, um, but that's not allowed. Um, I sometimes s touch the outside of an airplane since I go in, uh, bef when I go through into the airplane and I think, I think I started doing that because somebody else told me that she did it. Um, yeah, the sense of focusing on a sense of touch, I think is just so kind of inherently pleasurable. Um, I think it gets into some kind of simple animal brain or something. Um, so improvising with a sense of touch was enjoyable, pleasurable. I, I sort of wish I had just indulged um, more. The thing that I, I sort of ended with that I remembered because I was improvising on my bed is that um, when I was a kid, and in fact still now, uh, when I was in bed, I, I used to have like a this quilt, my quilt, that, um, and all the stuffing had kind of fallen to one end, but the fabric was super soft, and I would sort of weave it, I would put it in between my fingers, and that always felt really nice, and I have these lovely soft sheets now, and so I think I probably still do that a lot, and it's this, um, yeah, it's, it's enjoyable and comforting. <laughs>